County, where ice jam flooding is another major concern. As Don mentioned, a flash flood warning has been extended until 3.30 tomorrow morning. Lou Raguse took these pictures along the banks of the upper Niagara River today. So far, officials say the disaster has been averted, but with only inches to spare. Lou has more. The Niagara River is now the Niagara Glacier. Looks like something out of National Geographic. Michael Tramboni lives on Cayuga Island in Niagara Falls, and the river running through his backyard has never looked like this. How scary is this for you? It's a, little, it's, it's a lot scary. It's pretty, uh, like I said, it's unseen before. He watched with caution during the flash flood warning as the river swelled, hoping it didn't push closer to his house. The source of the flooding, this ice jam near the Power Authority water intake. Ice from Lake Erie and the Niagara River had rushed right over the ice boom and started to clog the channel. The New York Power Authority has sent out an icebreaker back there toward the falls, as well as a Canadian icebreaker, to try to bust up this ice jam as best they can. They say they'll continue to work into the night. That's important, because if the water intake becomes completely blocked, it will affect power. Even though the river looks like this, the Niagara plant is still fully powered. Niagara Falls Mayor Paul Dicer says police are monitoring streets flooding as a result, such as South 91st Street at Hennepin. Those who live far enough away are drawn to the site of the ice jam to take photographs and to just look in awe. But for those within reach of the glacier's growing fingers, it's been an incredibly stressful day. And we're going to continue to monitor it and pray that it doesn't stop moving because once it does, that ice is just going to continue to build the pressure and put a lot of uh, possible damage to our home here. Lou Raguse, News 4.